Hello everyone out there in YouTube land, this is Bradley Allen Hingley. And generally my videos are a little bit more lighthearted. But this is gonna be a three stage video. A three topic video. The first topic, well, is simply put this. Well, Well, no, it's going to be a three-stage video. The first stage is I think I've cracked the Democrat code. There's a commercial that goes around where talking about how this person's this person, this kid's helping with getting a lunch together and everything. And, and then it goes, because she's becoming an independent child. But the thing is, there's no such thing as an independent child. Because children need to be taught what is right, what is wrong. So when you do X and it's wrong, there is a Y consequence. Or if you do X that is good, there is a Y benefit. But the Democrats, what they are doing is simply put this. They are trying to get our children to become independent, which means they have to be rid of parental interference or influence. When that is done, then the Democrats will have a whole generation of people under their control through welfare and they can tell them, hey, if you want X amount of money and X amount of food stamps and X amount of apartment and you want to continue to live, you have to vote in this way. You have to vote for a Democrat. Otherwise, we'll take it all away because the other people will take it all away and you won't be able to survive because you don't have schooling because you dropped out after fourth grade or third grade or second grade or first grade or ninth or tenth. Or, you know what I mean? You didn't graduate. So you can't get a job now because you don't have the the intelligence and the paperwork to be able to get one. So now you'll be holding to the government to support you. Now last time I thought of this and read up, that's slavery. Out and out slavery. Where you do this, they keep you under control and feed you and everything. There's always a threat hanging over your head that if you don't do something, if we do, if you do something we like, don't like, we're gonna tell it all away. You're gonna get punished. You're gonna get whipped. You're gonna get whatever. To me, that's slavery. But you see, they start first with the subliminal messaging. It's at the end of the commercial, because she's becoming an independent child. You know, they make it sound like, oh, it's a great thing, she's becoming independent. She's becoming, she's going to be able to be out on her own. But the thing is, the child is only 10 years old, 8 years old. An 8 or 10 year old is not ready to be on their own. An 8 or 10 year old cannot achieve independence. It is not until a child is in their teens that they start to wanting to be independent, where they start longing for independence. And we as parents give them independence through maybe allowing them to go to parties or stay up longer, stay out longer. You know what I'm saying? Instead of you having to be home when it's dark, now you can stay out till 10. On a weekend, 9.30, 9, 9.30 on a weekday. And 
and we don't have to be there with you when you're with your friends. You can go hang with your friends. Go, your, you know, you can walk alone to your friend's house and do whatever. But that's only after years of the child being taught what's right, what's wrong. Do good, good things. Do the wrong thing, get consequences. By the child's parents. Or at the very least, parent who loves the child. This is the subliminal part that the Democrats don't want people to know. They're using subliminal messaging to implant in people's mind that the child can be independent when it's younger. And that's bullshit. And I gotta amend my previous statement. It's gonna be a four topic video. Because, you know, I did some research into this, you know. Back in the day, and I mean 70s, 60s, 50s, 40s, 30s, 20s, alright, back in the day, abortions were not done with coat hangers. They were done by medical professionals, but they were done in back alleyways because, you know, not back alleyways, they were done by doctors who were willing to go against the rules of the time. So they, they were safe. They were done by medical professionals. But you see. And this is how the two are going to tie in together. Through subliminal messaging. Through there being signs out there. and Through the counterculture of the hippies. With the free love and no consequences and everything else. Uh, the Democrats were able to implement Planned Parenthood and they were able to implement it and get funding from the federal government for it by saying under LBJ that hey we're not going after white people no 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 we're going to go after black people that's why you don't see Planned Parenthood's in our nice white neighborhoods. No, we're going to put them in the inner city, in the ghettos where more African Americans live. And when they did that, the Democrats who were in charge said, hey, that's cool. But how are we going to stop people from catching on? That it's really a genocide that we're going for here. And how are you going to stop people from catching on that we want to keep them in poverty? And the simple thing was this. Let's make it subliminal. So what they do? They start flashing ads up on TV. Boom, 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 boom. Making it seem like it'll be a beautiful world. But if you notice, the beautiful world that they were depicting back then was all white. It doesn't seem like such a beautiful, intelligent world to me. There's no diversity, but yet. I mean, I thought the fucking Democrats are the party of diversity over here. No, 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 no. They just changed their slogans around to meet the times. The end result is still the same. They want people on the plantation. Be it a physical plantation or a mental plantation. But they want people to do and say and think the same way as them. And if you don't, Oh, hell, you're in deep shit. You're going to get called racist, homophobic, Islamophobic, 
fucking transphobic. Everything else under the sun of phobic. Well, I got some news for you, Dems. You use a word too much, it loses its power. I'm not racist. My adopted kids are African American and white. You heard me, my adopted kids are mixed, and I love them like they's my own. Like they's my own full blooded kids. I'll die for them, take a fucking bullet for them, I love them. And I've helped to raise two fine, very fine boys. And I say help to raise because since I met their daddy and we got to be friendly, I've helped raise them boys, giving them advice. I've been the, uh, the cool uncle and the strict parent all at once. Because I'm not blood, so I was able to be the cool uncle. But when they fucked up enough, I was damn sure the fucking mean parent. By fucking reading them the riot act and getting in their shit. And as a result, today, everybody who knows the boys talks about how polite, respectful they are, and well spoken. And they each one finished school. They finished high school. Every one of them. My adopted daughter is going to finish high school. Think about that. Times I've been around there, I do the same thing as I did for her brothers. I'll be the cool uncle, but when need be, I'll eat my foot in the ass too. To teach you right from wrong. Not physically, no. Mentally. By using my words verbally. And teaching her what is right and what is wrong. But you see, the Dems use subliminal messages to tell the kids, Oh, you can be independent when you're eight. At eight years old, you don't need mommy and daddy. Mean that. Their fucking brains ain't even developed yet. But that's how the Democrats work, through subliminal messages. I grew up in the 80s. In the 80s, there was a big subliminal campaign going on about da 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 Planned Parenthood. And I'll admit, I fell for it. But when I do some research, I find out it's bogus. They're about Control. The Dems want control over every single living, breathing, procreating, thinking human being. How they want control over the animals, the air, the trees, the soil, over everything on this planet. They just want that control. They can. They fucking need that control. So when you get someone like Trump, who doesn't need money, doesn't need nothing, comes in to fix what is wrong, they snap. Because they don't know how to do it. They snap. And they go off. And when they can't do nothing, they start eating their own. Or when a member of their own party has fucked up so much, that they can't stand with them because it'll let everybody know what's going on. They tell that person to quietly go away. Case in point. And this video that I'm going to leave the link for below comes to me from the Deployables Army. The Deployables Army. The title. Omar out. Her real name is her real last name. Her real name is Ilhan Nuwar Ahmed Said, but it, the title is Omar out question mark. 
Democrats tell Elon Omar, I say Saeed because that's her real last name, but it says Omar on the title, to not seek re-election and stay quiet. Basically, they are telling her, bitch, you fucked up, get the fuck out of office and keep your mouth shut. And in 20, 30 years, we'll bring you back and everything will be kosher because like, who the fuck's going to care by the time we'll have what we want. You see, by Ilhan's actions, she's showing everyone the hypocrisy of the Democrats and what they truly want. Which is control over everyone. They want control over your thought process. And God forbid if you go against them. <laughs> if you still do not believe me. Okay. This one comes from the next news network. Entitled. And again, there will be links for all these videos down below. With the exception of the commercial. And the Planned Parenthood stuff, I couldn't find videos, you'll have to go and look that up on your own. But it says, it's from the Next News Network, Alert! Boom! Bail burned by police after his gun confiscation plot is revealed. In this video, he states that he doesn't care if you buy your gun legally. If you are a legal, law-abiding citizen. He doesn't care. He's going to send the government to take your guns. Now, granted, he says your AR-15 and your AK-47. But the point of the matter is this. If we allow them to trample on our Second Amendment for those two weapons, that is the foothold they need. That sets the precedent they need to strip us all of our Second Amendment God-given right to firearms that will allow us to protect ourselves. And isn't it funny how every time this comes up, they always say, well, look at Australia. They don't have, they don't have guns in everyone's hands and... They're a huge long thing for guns, and that's a safer place for it. The violence is down. Bullshit. Gun violence went down. However, violence, period. Violent crimes skyrocketed. Because people knew that other people did not have weapons. It's simple. And here's a little bombshell to drop on you Dems, alright? At one point, I was a criminal. I didn't give a fuck about the societal laws. I stole. I sold drugs. I sold guns. I was a prostitution leader. I did what I had to do to get money. Criminals will not abide by your fucking laws. Unless they change. I myself changed when I damn near died. Again. Actually, I did die of an overdose. I was given a brief glimpse into my future. And I didn't like it. So I changed. I stopped stealing. I stopped using illegal drugs. I stopped being a pimp. I stopped running guns. I stopped it all and went legit. Now, that hurt my wallet. And I'm not able to have the things I used to have. But you know what? I'm a happier man inside. 
Not only was I tired of the cops looking over my shoulder, but I was tired, period, of that life. The criminal life ages you faster. If you're in the criminal life for, say, 10 years, you age 20 to 30 years because of the stress. Now, everything that I've told you is true. You can look it all up. Statistics, everything. But criminals will not abide by your laws. If you do not believe me, well, here is a simple easy to find way to understand what I'm saying. Are you ready? Are you ready? Boop, boop. Are you ready? The illegal aliens that are coming over our border. The drugs that are smuggled over our border. The human trafficking that is smuggled over our border. The young children that are smuggled over our border for child sex rings. You get the point. Uh, we have laws that state. Hey. We're not. We're not. Ha that, you don't do that. That's just the law. But what do the criminals still do? They do what the fuck they want. And they're able to do it because there's loopholes in our fucking, there's holes in our border where no one goes, so they go right through and they make a lot of money doing it. Hence, they are illegal aliens under the law. Personally, seeing as that they are all, or the majority of them are all, of a, of military age, military fighting age, men is the majority. I like to call them an illegal invaders, an illegal invasion force, because they are illegally invading our country. And I personally feel and think that as illegal invaders, we need to treat them as illegal combatants. And kill them. That will stop the illegal aliens crossing our border. Because they will find out we as a nation are willing to use force to in fucking enforce our borders and our laws. Now, that's not a very popular belief, but it's mine. And it's a belief born first from war and two from law. See, I've been incarcerated. And the good part about being incarcerated is that it allows you the time to read and better yourself if you so decide to use it for that fact. I know people that have done time and I know people who the time has done them. The difference, the people who've done time have bettered themselves while they were incarcerated. The people who the time has done did nothing and came out worse. I chose for the latter part of my years of being in and out of incarceration to use it to work for me. The first time I was incarcerated, the time did me. The rest of it, I did it. 
Let's see, it's a simple matter of looking things up. We, as Americans, cannot allow ourselves to become communistic, dictatorship, totalitarianistic, monarch monarchistic or any other kind of society other than democratic republic. Every time you bring up socialism doesn't work to these people, they say, well, what about Norway? What about Sweden? What about the Nordic countries? Yes, they have a form of socialism. However, it is at the very core and at the heart Mainly capitalism. And here's the thing. When's the last time any kind of technological medical breakthrough came from Norway or the Nordic countries? Never. But capitalistic countries have. Because capitalism breeds innovation. Capitalism breeds competitors. Being competitors means you have to come up with a better idea, a better product that the populace will want. And in doing so, you can make money. But that is getting off topic of this video. This topic of this video is that the Democrats will use subliminal messages in lawsuit cases and family court cases, they know they cannot win to set a legal precedent for 10, 20, 30, 40 years down the road so that they get a case down that far, you know, 10, 25, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years down the road that they can win. What am I talking about now? It's simple. Look at the young child. I believe the kid is seven in Texas. A jury agreed that the mother should have custody of the child after she wants to slice the penis off of her male son and put him through years of torture and mental abuse by saying he's transgender. They... She wants to expose a young seven-year-old child to that environment? That is fucking sick. The fact that she's a pediatrician makes it worse. Because she took her child, not to other doctors, but to therapists. Not recognized leading therapists, but these quack job therapists who had just gotten a license. Boom. And they backed up what she said. Thankfully, his father was able to have the money and the balls and the testicular fortitude to fight for his son. And what happened? The judge overturned what the jury had said. And said, listen. You both created this child. Anything medically to do with this child, you both have to agree on it. You both have custody. Basically, by saying that, she stopped the mother from being able to run with the kid out of state 
and disappear and have it done against the father's wishes. Instead, she made that mother have to stay in Texas with his son, as his son. And she forces the mother and the father to have to talk and work it out about any and all medical issues. And she even specifically quoted and said it included mental health issues as well. Everything from vaccines to medication from A to Z. They have to agree upon it with this child. Otherwise, it does not happen. That means the mom dressing her child up as a girl and enrolling her son in school as a girl is done. She now has to enroll her son in school as a boy. Otherwise, she violates the court act because the husband will not allow her to change his sex or put his child in that sick, twisted environment. But the Dems knew they would never win this argument. But by losing this and this one case say, well, they got to both agree. Later on down the road, mark my words, within two, three years, it's going to be another case about it. The mom will probably appeal this decision all the way up, and it would not surprise me if the mom took it to the Supreme Court of the country to get them to go her way. And mark my words, the second a court rules with the mother all the way on this, and the father loses out, you will see a flood of this happening. I think it's in California where now they are forcing the parents to do what the kid says. If the kid says, oh, I feel like a girl today, you got to call me by my pronouns of she, her, and her. And the parent doesn't. The kid can be removed because that's child abuse. What? Your little son cannot tell you. You gotta call me she, her, or girl, or it's child abuse. And they'll take your kid away. That, to me, would be kidnapping. Because it damn sure oversteps the bounds of government. It oversteps the bounds of everything our founding fathers wanted. But you see, California gave them that foothold. You'll see, very soon, it's going to happen all over the place. Right after they did that in California, they had this Texas court case and they lost. But it's going to get appealed, and it's going to go and go and go. Watch, I'm telling you now, you heard it here first. The Dems want control of everything. There was no great switch where the Republicans that weren't racist became racist, and the Dems that were became not, no. The Dems have always been the party of hate and racism. The Republicans have always been the party to stand against it and fight it. Now, I'm not a Republican. I'm an independent. That means I look at both sides. And I research what they're saying. And I will vote for the candidate I feel is better suited for the job that they are going for. 
but I will always vote. Even if that means I gotta write in a third party, I'll do it. Because I believe our votes matter. Call me naive if you will. But if our votes didn't matter so damn much, why are the Democrats trying to take away our vote by running a coup on our president? You see, the Democrats know that we the people have all the power. But if they can get us to thinking that we don't, then they do. You see, this impeachment bullshit is just an, the third attempt at an illegal coup on our president. If this happened in any other country, we would be recognizing it for what it is, a coup attempt against a duly elected president. But because it's happening here, people can't see it for some reason. When it's a coup led by the Democrats to get our guy that we, the people, voted into office out. And their person that no one voted for in. So that they can then have all of the power. That's why they're doing this false, illegal impeachment inquiry behind closed doors keeping Republicans out of everything even though it involves things and committees where there are Republicans sitting on the boards they're still keeping them out shutting the door oh you can't be in here you can't be in here you can't be in here it doesn't involve you it doesn't concern you Wait a minute, what do you mean it doesn't concern me? You're dealing with an intelligence oversight committee deal. I'm on that committee, I need to be here. Oh, you can't be here, you can't be here. And then they say to the public, oh, well, they could be in there right there because of the witness, but uh, they can read, you know, the transcripts. Yeah, the transcripts are going to be highly redacted, blacked out. And I'm going to show bits and pieces to make it look like there's a reason for this illegal shit to be going on. When the Republicans went to the door and stormed it, I was happy because finally, finally they're doing something. They're taking action. You see, the Democrats know they can't beat Trump because he's doing so much that beneficial to our country so they have to do this shit in the hopes that right before election oh he's impeached so Clinton got impeached was still in office because it's got to go to the house to get him out and the house won't have it Because there's nothing there. This third attempt, this illegal impeachment inquiry, is another mural investigation, nothing burger. It's another Russian collusion witch hunt. Alright? The first two attempts came back with nothing. So now they're trying to say, oh, well. He did a pro, uh, quo pro quo thing with the UK by withhold, starting the withhold military uh, unless they went after his uh, opponent, political opponents. No, he didn't. But the one who did do a quo pro quo with the Ukraine was fucking creepy Uncle Joe Biden. When he told them, and it's on record as him saying this, I don't in six hours. Either that motherfucker's gone, and a new one's in, or 
where you don't get $250 billion. I'll take it with me. Before he left, there was a new fucking investigator on the thing about his son. That's a quote, pro quote. Trump has not done it. He even released the transcripts to show them what everything was said. And it blew the shit out of the world. It proved that what Adam Schiff had said beforehand was a fucking lie. How fucking much more can this man be fucking transparent before the fucking people wake the fuck up? I will say this. Just like when we got Bin Laden, which we didn't get Bin Laden under fucking Obama because all of a sudden, he says, we got, we got Osama Bin Laden, he was given a burial, let's see. The fuck are you talking about burial, see, there's no fucking body? There's no body, how the fuck do we the people know that we got the motherfucker? Other than you saying we got him. Huh? But, Trump has said, and this is the last part of the video. Comes to me from Jericho Green, who I follow. He's a very good American. And Jericho, I love the way you open your videos with good morning or good evening or good afternoon, American. I love that. And there's several other sources out there as well. This is just one I happen to save. ISIS leader dead. Trump's speech was a Fucking classic. And it was a classic. Because thanks to our special forces. And you special forces members who were involved, you know who I'm talking about. And so is every one of you and the sergeants among you. From one man to another, I respect ops, and you are too. From one to another, hoorah! Y'all world on, I salute you, soldiers. The ISIS leader is dead. Will there be video? If people want to see it, I'm sure Trump will release it. Something. Obama never did. All he did was say, oh, take our word for it, he's dead. Two months after saying they didn't know where he was. That they couldn't find him. All of a sudden, the election's coming up that he would have lost. And right before the election, they got him. Literally, a week before the election, they got him. Everybody swore patriotic pride and he was swept into office again. Trump doesn't do that shit. Trump tells you, hey, this is what's going on. Like it or not, this is what the fuck's going on. And damned if it ain't true. They said that Trump was lying about being fucking surveilled and spied upon during his candidacy. Proven true. Trump said there was no race and collusion. Proven to be true, there was no collusion. He said there was nothing fucking wrong and like in the other thing. He said there was going to be nothing that Mueller could fucking find because he'd done nothing wrong. Boom, Mueller came up as a big fucking nothing burger. For the Democrats. Come on, man. Americans! You need to wake up. You know, there's a poll that says... 
that if things keep going the way they are, we will end up with Nancy, with uh, Elizabeth Warren or some other Democrat in office. That means we will end up with a socialistic government within a year, I would say, of the Democrats taking over. But, if Trump supporters, true blue patriots for this country, get out there, rally, this rally people to get off their ass and do their own research and to think for themselves, give them the fucking information, and get them out there to vote. On November 20th, 20, November 3rd, 2020, by showing them truth and fact, then Trump will win. I, for one, will do my part. And I do it every day when I speak to people. I, they ask me, I speak about truth. I wear my Trump, keep America great, camouflage hat. I'm not ashamed of being a Trump supporter. And I dare people to try to take my hat. Because they'll pull back a stump. But I will say this. Because I know it to be true. Ladies and gentlemen. Children of all ages. All Americans, we got the ISIS leader. He died whimpering and crying like a dog that he is. And Trump sent a very good message after that, saying to anyone who wanted to step up into his shoes or to Start another terrorist organization. If you do that, you will meet the same fate by American hands and ammunition. Especially if you target us or our allies. And I will end this video by saying this. If you like what has come out of my mouth hole, give me a thumbs up. If you're new here, subscribe and be sure to click the bell notification and click all so you can be notified of all the videos I post. Uh, as always, don't believe everything you're told. Hell, don't believe a fucking thing I tell you. Use what I say and research the words that are coming out of my mouth. Research them for yourself. Don't just go by what people tell you. Research it on your own. If I'm wrong, there's video proof out there already that when I was wrong, I admit it as soon as I find out. If I'm wrong and you prove it to me with logic and sources, I will admit that I'm wrong. Got no problem with it. I'm a man. That's what a man does. That's what a woman does. That's what an adult does. But we research what we are told. Or what we see or read. We research it. We look into it. And then we make an informed decision. And that's all I'm asking my fellow Americans, my fellow human beings on planet earth to do is research what someone tells you that's it just research it and until next time treat each other with the same love kindness and respect that you demand others treat you you see, I treat everybody with respect because I demand respect. And because of that, I get respect. 
Always remember, respect, two-way street. You got to give it to receive it. And if we all treat each other the way we want to be treated, this can be a very, very nice place to live. This world can be a lot nicer and we as humans can be nicer to one another. And until next time, remember, I'll be seeing you and watching. So until next time, take it easy, Americans.